Hi everyone, this is ECU Boot and for today's videos, I'm going to teach you all the basics information about BMW car series. So before starting this videos, I want to thank all of you for the feedback and questions that we've received recently and that shows a lot of support to us for making the videos. So we've had a lot of questions and most of them usually prefer like when we're working in a European car company, what are we using to look up the document? And secondly, when working at an individual auto services, what will we have to consider when it comes to this document? So those questions will be answered in this video. And so first of all, in this video, we'll only show you the information related to the BMW's document. With BMW, you can systematically look up the document through two methods. The first one is using the online webpage of BMW and second one is by using the professional diagnostic software ISTA. These two methods are different in some aspects. The Air is an online webpage which always be updated. The ISDA that you're using at an individual auto services will need a short term to be updated. And in the European car company, it will have a fixed period that you have to update your software. So with this particular video, we're gonna show you how to look up the necessary information for daily repair work using the AIR online webpage. So as you can see on the screen, this is our AIR account specifically for BMW. AIR is then for after sale information research and on the screen are three interfaces so you can search for information about the car. The first interface is for the vehicle ident identification numbers which is VIN. Normally, when you type all the digits of the car's VIN, it will show you all about the vehicle's information. But in some cases, you only need to fill in the last seven digits and it can also give you the same result. The two other interfaces can be used when you cannot find the car's VIN. And for today's videos, we're gonna use the VIN numbers. So at the first page, it will give you all the basic information about the car such as the development code, the colors, the actual integrations level, and even the current technical campaigns which is DTC. Moreover, when you scroll down a little bit, you can see the vehicle type, brand, models, VIN, its engines, transmissions, and the production date. And for people who work on cars options, you can know exactly all the options or functions that, are, that the car is currently available so that you can easier to work on them. And then, for the mechanic who works in an individual auto services or service center, you might be concerned about the fixing document. It will be consisted of fixing, car functioning, and schematic diagram. In fixing categories, it will demonstrate how to remove and install the parts, as well as the timing torque required. Then, in the car's functioning sections, with the particular engines, you don't know how this system works or how can it operate it. This section will give you the answer. And lastly is the wiring diagram. In order to know about the wiring and measuring to diagnose the problem. So let's go ahead to the fixing categories. For example, if you want to change the transmission fluid and don't know how to find the screw, go to the repair instructions. Here, BMW has already divided all the groups for easy lookup. So you want to do things related to the transmissions, go to group 24 which stands for automatic transmissions. And here we have a lot of procedure for installing and adjusting parts and in our case head over to removing and installing transmission oil sump. As you can see 
this is the overall procedure on how to change the transmission fluid and even checking the oil level. And then, still related to removing and installing, we head over to the parts categories. Here, you find all the parts that are on the car and you will know where it is, what does it look like, and also the parts number. If you notice, the first two digits of the part numbers will be associated with the group number where it belongs. And next, we have the functional descriptions categories where it describes all the car's functional system. Like other categories, it will also be divided into many groups. Here, you can find out all the progress as well as the functions of each individual system or sensor. And for example, go ahead to the accelerator pedal module. As you can see, it will show you the functions of it and also the troubleshooting. On other cases, like the air flat control, you will have the detailed descriptions of this, like what is included in the systems, and also the schematic diagram. And moreover, one of the most important documents that we always need when we're working on the car's body electricity, and that is the wiring diagram. When we enter these sections, for example, if we want to check on the engines, go to powertrain, and we want to check on the fuel system, click on the fuel injectors. As you can see, this is our fuel injectors wiring diagram. And as the diagram, we can say that this is the conventional injection engine. If you don't know where to find the component, simply just click on the component's number. You can find the installation locations as well as the pin assess assignment tool. In the next videos, I will cover the meaning of every single pin that has on the sensor or the module. So, we've gone through three sections. Firstly is the repair instructions. Secondly is the functional descriptions. And last but not least is the wiring diagram. Furthermore, I want to introduce another section that is quite interesting that I think many of you would probably want to know and that is Puma measures. It's kind of an overall common symptom that gathers information from all around the world about the specific engines. And in our case, is the N46. For example, we feel supply. We feel gauge reading incorrect. As you can see, We've already record, recorded a symptom. We have the complaint, the cause, and even the solutions. In conclusions, this video has been covered various of information about how to use AI online webpage to search for some documents, especially for BMW. At this point, you would probably know more about these professional diagnostic software while watching these videos. If you have any questions or difficulties, feel free to contact us and we will help you as much as possible. Till then, we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.